And during the daring military maneuver, some major battles were of vital importance to the success of the Red Army. The soldiers feared no sacrifices and stood firmly in their beliefs. And even after eight decades, the Long March remains a powerful legacy in China. Here are some of the key battles. The Battle of Xiang River was the most dangerous and tragic one as the Red Army attempted to break the blockade of the Kuomintang forces. It was just a life and death battle for the Red Army. In October 1934, starting from Rijin, the capital of the Chinese Soviet Republic, the Chinese Communist Party's headquarters and the Red Army began their strategic retreat. The army headed westward and choosing through the jungle of Nanling, the largest mountain in South China, for almost a month. At that time, troops planned to head north to the isolated western Hunan province and establish new bases for the army. To do so, they had to cross Xiang River, which runs across the border of Guangxi and Hunan provinces. At the same time, the Kuomintang was also eyeing the same river after the failure of several military encirclement campaigns against the Red Army. Leader of the Kuomintang, Chiang Kai-shek, assembled nearly 400,000 troops in a bid to surround and annihilate the Red Army by the eastern bank. Chiang used the river as a natural barrier and set up a fourth blockade. November 27, the Red Army reached Xiang River and engaged in a fierce combat with the Kuomintang forces. The Kuomintang carried out violent attacks using airplanes, making it very difficult for the poorly equipped Red Army troops to resist. However, the Red Army successfully crossed the river after days of fierce fighting, but only 30,000 of the original 80,000 soldiers advanced. After the great loss, the Red Army readjust their military strategy at the Zunyi Conference, an event that forever changed the fate of the Red Army in the face of China. The Battle of Luding Bridge is one of the most well-known events in the history of the Red Army's Long March. In the Army's retreat, troops were forced to use Luding Bridge in order to cross Dadu River in Strum Province as there were not enough boats on the river. At the time, the suspension bridge consisted of 13 heavy iron chains with a span of nearly 100 meters. Thick wooden boards lashed over the chains provided the roadway across the bridge. On the dawn of May 29th, the Red Army reached the bridge only to discover that the Kuomintang forces had removed most of the planks on the bridge. Finally, an advanced unit consisting of 22 men was ordered to take the bridge. With only the rifles and bullets, the troops crawled over the bare iron chains while under the enemy's machine gun fire and were able to reach the other side of the bridge. With a strong and firm will, the Red Army soldiers truly completed a mission impossible.